Aurora, what's up, what's going on? Welcome to my channel. We're going to be installing RetroArch within Aurora. So make sure that your Xbox 360 is connected to the internet. Let's get started. First of all, hit the back button on the controller, go down to scripts. Go down to the homebrew store that you had installed in the previous video. Click A on it. Now we want to go down to emulators. We want to select the first one there, which is the RetroArch 360 version 1.0.0.2. Select yes to download it. Once it's complete, you'll receive a notification saying that it's installed. So just hit the B button to quit out. Next, you'll want to refresh it. So hit the guide button and select yes. This will refresh the dashboard. And the reason why we refresh the dashboard, it will scan for new content. And if it doesn't show up there in the games list, we'll have a look for it. So it should be under R, under RetroArch. If you don't see it there, we're going to have to manually link the folder so click the back button go into file manager go down to hdd1 as you can see there it's created an emulators folder and within that folder there should be retroarch so we're going to hit the b button to quit all the way back out to the dashboard now we hit the start button go to content go down to manage paths click on add Click change on select location, go down to HDD1, go down to the emulators folder and press the yellow button, then go down to save. Hit the B button once you've done that and it should populate it there. So we can search for it, scroll over till you find it and there it is there, RetroArch. It's ready to be loaded. The reason why we use RetroArch for all of our emulators it's because it has just it's just one big front end and it has all the emulators loaded within it it's better to have it that way than to have single standalone emulators because things can get messy and this compacts everything all into one so the first thing i like to do is to go to the input options keep scrolling down as you can see as it's highlighted in green this will select the option so I want to go down to quit RetroArch, highlight it and press the B button and select the button that you want to assign to it. It's kind of weird because you have to use the B button as the A button and the A button as the B button. So just think of it as a Nintendo. Now we want to save the setting. So we go to save new config, press the B button and it should come up with the statement saying that it's saved it and then we can quit out. To the end of the short video if you've learned something please like and subscribe in the next videos we will be uploading roms and configuring the emulators thanks for watching